Okay, we're going to do the word prophecy. This was uh, came about because I've just been dealing with too many people talking about these doomsday prophecies, so the word's kind of stuck in my head at the moment. Anyway, so let's look at the word prophecy. We'll start with the simplest possible combination. P, R, O, P, H, E, C, Y. Prophecy. Okay, now there's a lot of good double letter combinations we can use in this word. We'll start off with the PR here. This one's pretty simple. Just by smoothing it out, we can do it in two strokes. PR. Or you can also go RP by drawing the P onto the R line. That's not very nice. That's better. That's also PR. So you've got a couple choices here. Now we've got the OP. O plus P can also be OP. Okay, and then this can also be rotated in any direction. So it can look like so can look like so, any way you like. Now, as you can see, there's a P and an O. The key thing here is to remember is you have to make sure this never looks like a Q or a U. This is a uh, Q, and, sorry, and this is a U. Okay, so how do we make sure this never looks like a Q or a U? Well, it's missing a connection point. As you can see, this part has been cut off. It's missing. Therefore, we know it's not a Q or a U. If it was OQ, it would look like that you would have your connection point between the two sides. So, now that we got that, we know how to make an OP. Let's look at the PH. Well, here's P, here's H, PH. As you can see, you have your H right here. PH, very common combination used a lot. And finally, let's have a look here at our EC. So, EC can also be EC or EC. And you've got your EC. Um, and, sorry, one more last combination. Whenever you have a C or even an EC, you could put the Y onto either connection point. You can put the Y anywhere you like, even there, with its tail, of course, in any direction you like. So, now that we've seen that, let's try to make a couple quick versions here. Let's quickly just try to use a, some advanced combinations. So, P, R, O, P, H, E, C, and put the Y there. Okay. That's prophecy. Let's try to make this look a little nicer now. Uh, we're going to want to try to occupy a square shape, as I always tend to do. Uh, that's mostly just because I work with so much Chinese that I like to be able to use my Descript characters alongside Chinese characters in the same format. So I'm going to try to make this into a box. Uh, I haven't done this word in a box before, so we're, this could get a little tricky. S start by making our shape. P-R-O P H E C Y Okay, so still a little off there, not occupying the space quite well enough. So let's try angling a bit. P R that's not very nice, but we'll fix that later. And there we can see how we can start to fill the space. We're going to want to come around in a circle for this design. Uh, there's many other ways to do this, but this is how I'm doing it this time, just because this is where I've come to. This is what I've arrived at. So we're going to try to make a circle out of our letters, kind of. And there we go. Prophecy.